Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Programme. And today's bottle what we're looking at is a British Gas RD532i. Being called out to this boiler, um, customers said the hot water is intermittent. So we're going to check out and find out what the problem is. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take the casing off. As you can see it's quite a big unit. This is boiler is a Worcester boiler, badged up for British gas. Okay, so we're inside the boiler and we're just going to have a quick look round it and check its operation. So as I said, this particular unit, it's a Worcester Bosch badged up for British gas. So it's equivalent of a Worcester 30 HE plus. Okay, in hot water mode, how this bottle works. At the back, you can see that valve there on the right. That's the cold water inlet. So it goes up. And at the back, you can see something red there. We'll see if you can zoom in a bit closer. So that's a bit better. So that's like a water valve. So what happens when you run the hot water, I'm going to turn it on now, and you'll see a switch move. So that's the hot water flow switch. So what the hot water's on, that makes that switch, or releases it, and activates the hot water. And you hit it click off. So that's the first thing that happens in the hot water mode. From there, you've got the hot water sensor. So if that's okay, then you'll get the fan run. So you the pump will run first. That'll run first. Then the pump works and the fan starts. At the same time, you're going to get ignition through the spark electrodes there, then turn the right. The flame will come on, the flame sensor electrode will detect the flame, carry on the combustion, the burner's on, and then it's all fired up. At the same time, the diverter valve, which is here, and that's a motor, that will activate, divert the primary water, which will go over to the plate heat exchanger here. The cold water goes inside here, turns into hot water and goes out to the tap, which is this pipe here, going to the taps. So that's the sequence of events in the hot water mode of hot water operation. For the heat inside, this is your programmer, so that's going to be calling for heat. Thermostat on here is going to be calling for heat. If you've got an external control, that will be turned up. So once all that's all activated, then the boiler will fire up in the same way I said before for hot water. The only difference is that the diverter valve will be in the heating mode, then it will go around the radiators via the flow return underneath the boiler. You've got a few little bits up here. This is here, that's the primary sensor. That one there is the overheat thermostat. So then that will be okay and then you're going to get the burn to fire up. At the back there, difficult to see, you can see it there, that is the flu sensor. So if the flue gases are too high for any reason, like a blockage, that will shut the burner down. And then you'll get the error code showing on the display here. As you can see the expansion vessel and the automatic air vent on the top. So the expansion takes place through that pipe that goes to the back of the pump. This is the spark that's coming off the main PCB, which is behind here. 
and I said before that's a flame sensor which that then goes back to the board to tell the board that the flame is on and keep the burner on and run in safely. You've got like two condensed traps this is one here in the grey that fills up and then goes across that pipe there and goes to the second one and then that fan discharge discharges outside to drain. That's your pressure gauge and I said that's a pump before at the bottom down there you've got the pressure leaf valve and then you've got the main heat exchanger itself the fan unit and on top there is a burner what burns down so that's really on this particular boiler oh this is your adjustment behind there for your gas adjustment for doing your CO and also that's your gas valve as well so that's basically it on this boiler as I said and the end of this video so if you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to our channel or give us a like and we'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching.